So in the video you're about to watch, it's me reviewing my Austrian Audio High X60 headphones. Um, it was recorded a while ago, so long ago that it was in my old studio setup, which is fine. You know, pretty much the information's there, my take on it and all that. Just a little different look. Enjoy the video on the Austrian Audio High X60 headphones review. These are the Austrian Audio High X60 headphones. Got them at a great deal. Somebody was selling them on Reverb. Some other YouTube person won't get into that, but you know, I've, I've been needing to upgrade because my cans are the uh, Sennheiser MD280 Pros. Pretty common headphone, but I've had these for 15 years. These are new cups that I got from the kind bikini anyway yeah the headband's all worn out there's nothing there anymore They're real creaky i'm not real creaky a little creaky enough that when you do voice acting like me you gotta you don't want that in there so i got these and i tested them out and full full honesty right before i started this i was gonna sell them because i used them on a couple voiceover sessions and auditions and I don't know, they just sounded weird. Let me put them on. They just sounded like they had this kind of lacquer cover, this sheen over the audio. I can't explain it, but it just wasn't, I wasn't hearing the same thing that I was with, whoops, with the Sennheisers. I don't know, it, felt, it sounded good, but I think maybe that's because I've been using them for 15 plus years. And that's why when I started using the Austrian Audio uh, High X60, I keep forgetting where to put the X in front of the six, after the zero. Eh. But anyway, after using these for a couple days of sessions, like I said, I just wasn't impressed. And for the money, which these retail for like four thirty, I got them much less than that. But still, three hundred bucks. Uh, you know, I, eh. my my job is audio. It's got to sound good. So flash to today, which is Monday. I took a weekend. I'm not using them at all. And I like them. They sound really good. And I, I couldn't put my finger on it. Why? And I think that's my ears have been trained to the Sennheisers for 15 plus years. That's all I've used in most of my whole career for voiceover. And I did an A and B test with them using different songs, you know, Money by Pink Floyd, uh, a couple metal songs. I did a Daft Punk song, Tom Petty. And what I figured out is... The Austrian audios have more of a representation of all the frequencies, whereas the Sennheisers, I was hearing mostly mid to high range. The low was there, but it was very muddy and just kind of, we'll call it scattered. Like, here's the bass. It's all over the place. Whereas with the Austrian audios, I figured out that finally it's a tight, focused bass. There's mids in there. You can hear the treble. The high end's there. The treble's there. The bass is respectable, we'll call it. It's not, I don't like boomy bass. I just want a flat response. And the more I've used these, the more I've figured out these are a flat response headphone. So I don't know. I'm, I don't think I'm going to sell them now. Anybody want to buy some used Sennheisers? <laughs> but so that's where I'm at. I think the uh, Austrian Audio High X60 are a great headphone I, you can probably find some cheaper that have kind of the same response i know people love the sony 7560s those are pretty much standard in a lot of studios this might be a little overkill for my needs but now that i'm using them i kind of like them and i want to keep them so they're not for sale i'll sell you this straw instead fair i think that's fair anyway let me know what you think of the austrian audio high x60 in the comments, or even, you know, what headphones you like. What's your preference? Do you like bass? Do you like a clean? I like a level flat signal. I want to hear everything. That's kind of part of my job, but let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Moose, and go to moosevoice.com for my voiceover stuff. Okay, I love you. Bye.